Material engineers develop, process, and test materials used in products. In this video, we're gonna go over what material engineers do, the job market for material engineers, how much money they make, how they compare to the other engineering fields, and at the end of the video, we will go over the top five metro areas for material engineers. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Steven Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on bringing the latest, most up-to-date information on different careers. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, feel free to give us a like to support this channel. Material engineers create and study materials at the atomic level. They study the properties and structures of metals, ceramics, plastics, composites, nanomaterials, and other substances. Material engineers select materials for specific products and develop new ways to use existing materials. Materials engineers design, direct, and monitor the testing of materials in different environments. They will determine causes of product failures and develop innovative ways the product won't fail. Material engineers will often work on teams with other engineers such as chemical, civil, and aerospace engineers. Material engineers work in a wide variety of different industries. 16% work in transportation equipment manufacturing, 10% work in engineering services, 9% work in computer and electronic product manufacturing, 9% work in research and development, and 8% work in metal manufacturing. Next, let's take a look at the job market for materials engineers. In the year 1999, there were 21,730 materials engineer jobs. From 1999 to 2013, there was quite a bill of volatility in the number of material engineering jobs. In 2018, the government recorded 26,930 jobs for materials engineers. So there was a gain of 5,200 jobs over the past 20 years for material engineers. There has been quite a bit of job volatility for material engineers over the past 20 years. Job growth has been somewhat limited except for the past eight years where materials engineers gained about 5,000 jobs. The question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at the government job forecast for materials engineers. The government is forecasting zero growth in the number of material engineer jobs from 2018 to 2028. They are predicting no job losses or job gains. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%, and the average engineering field is also expected to rise by 5%. Materials engineering is one of the few fields that I've seen that has such a dire forecast from the government. A similar field would be electronics engineering, where the government is forecasting a 1% loss in jobs over the next 10 years. But it's important to note that the past eight years have been pretty good for materials materials engineers from 2010 to 2018. Next, let's take a look at what kind of money materials engineers earn. In 1999, the average materials engineer was making $59,370. By the year 2018, the average wage had risen to $96,930. So wages rose for material engineers by $37,560 over a period of 20 years. So despite the job volatility over the past 20 years, materials engineers still make pretty good money. But how does materials engineering stack up against some of the other engineering fields? The Bureau of Labor Statistics splits engineering into 16 different fields and materials engineering is one of those 16. So let's take a look at how it stacks up. With an average wage of $96,930, materials engineering is the 10th most lucrative form of engineering. It is beaten out by engineering fields such as aerospace, chemical, computer, nuclear, and petroleum engineering. Next, let's compare the total number of jobs for materials engineers compared to the other engineering fields. With 26,930 jobs recorded in 2018, materials engineering has the 11th greatest number of jobs compared to the other engineering fields. It is beaten out by fields such as civil, mechanical, industrial, and electrical engineering. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for materials engineers. The average wage is around $97,000 per year, but certain metro areas pay much more than this. Also, considering that there's a limited number of job opportunities for materials engineers, it is really important to live where most of the jobs are. So this top five list considers the average wage in the metro area, the number of job opportunities, and the cost of living. Let's take a look. The fifth best metro area for materials engineers, in my opinion, is the San Jose, California metro area. There's a little over 2,000 jobs, and the average San Jose wage is $116,600, which is almost $20,000 over the national wage. Number four on this list is the Dallas, Texas metro area. Dallas is much cheaper than San Jose. There's a little over 600 jobs, and the average Dallas wage is $99,130. Number three on this list is the Los Angeles, California metro area. There's almost 1,000 jobs. The average wage in LA is $110,930, which is $14,000 above the national average wage. Number two on this list is the Houston, Texas metro area. There's above 900 jobs, and the Houston average wage is $109,690. And the number one best place for materials engineers, in my opinion, is the Washington, D.C. metro area. There's above 500 jobs, but the DC average wage is $123,690, which is over $25,000 above the national average wage. 
Are you interested in becoming a materials engineer? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.